Hi, gay is not sin, and Jesus isn't asking the gay person to be straight. How many of you think gay should become straight or stop practice? How many of you believe that gay is sin? Well, I'd like to ask you some questions about that. I got lots of sites. I got uh, 24-7 uh, running of my uh, TV programs. You can go to livestream.com uh, slash gays for Jesus. You can watch me 24-7. And uh, all my foreign countries, there's probably 40 to 50 of them, are on uh, demand. So you can watch them anytime you want, 24-7. Otherwise, my live programming is running 27 Got a wind blew my thing down here. It's running 24-7. Now, what I notice at various places from my Facebook page, Twitter, um, blog, web page, different chat rooms, and so forth, on and on and on, I get comments for those of you that think gay is sin. Some are pretty rude. Some are pretty vulgar. It's hard to understand why Christians uh, can revert to such foul language or some very terrible types of things. And while they may witness to other kinds of uh, what they think is immorality or or sins and stuff, and witness a kindness and everything to, to help... Uh, people find Christ. Yet when it comes to gays, so many homophobes, and homophobes to me means you think gay is sin and you want or seek no proof to, to anything. You won't study, you won't say anything except it's in the Bible. Those of you who just won't listen, won't explain these are what I call homophobes. People say, well, I'm not afraid of gays. Yes, you are. you got a phobia because you won't study so you can present to gays the reason you think gay is sin. Just saying it's in the Bible. you got 2,000 years of people trying to interpret the New Testament. Besides the Old Testament, you, got, you can add another 1,000 years on there. Every denomination has got different doctrines. How come you are right? And what people do in these doctrines is they explain their doctrines the best they can and, and they get a following. And so you have that kind of denomination or that kind of denomination. Now a lot of you aren't Assembly of God. I'm Assembly of God. A lot of you aren't Pentecostal. I'm Pentecostal. Some of you are in some pretty, as I would say, watered-down Christianity. And some of you are way off the, the wall in the apostolistic uh, Pentecostalism. You, you think you're holier than thou or something. You got names called Holiness Church or something. And, and yet, there's so much difference in doctrines of denomination. Why then... Can't you understand that you can't just say it's in the Bible to somebody you happen to click on? Or because you see the word gay, you somehow think that all Christians, I suppose, have to believe like you? Or do you think universally, somehow, magically, your belief that the Bible says gay is sin is all there's, that's needed? Do you think the people you talk to don't know anything about the Bible? There's got to be some reason. And this is why I call you a homophobe. is because you fear something makes you, and it's got to be your fear, afraid to study. If I tell you sodomite does not mean homosexual, why can't you go look it up and find out? Why don't you track how sodomite has been used over the past thousands of years? Why don't you see what Christians use this word sodomite in um, 
1 Corinthians 6, 9 means. You know, Ars Kenicote, how many times did they use it in, say, the first half a millennium? Well, I can tell you, documentary, that means you can do research, do research, do, and you couple it with 56 times, including Paul, the word Ars Kenicote was used. Now, by the way, happy 4th of July, because I'm doing this on the 4th of July in 2011. Then you take the Greeks. And how many times has the Greeks used arsenicotes? If you include that, you get 76 times in about 1,400 years. So now you got a number of Times Arsenicotes was used in the first thousand years of Christianity. And so you can now, do you think that they're just a figure of imagination or something? Or do you think, there, think there's actual names to the people that wrote it? Do you think that there's actually Christian people that wrote these down, that are scholars, that are well known, that Anywhere, do you think that there's still documentation on this so you could read what they wrote? Yes, there is. You can read what these people wrote when they put the word arsenicotes in their little writing documentary that they did in, in the day that they wrote it. And you're not going to find that arsenicotes was used to say gay is sin. It didn't refer to gays at all. How can you refer to gays? Well, 700 years ago, the Catholic invented an anti-gay doctrine. It took a 100 years for the Protestants to adopt that anti-gay doctrine. By that time, when the Protestants came to the United States, they enhanced insidiously, heinously, the doctrine against gays. Well, there's such a history. I'm telling you Maybe you don't believe me, or, you know, when I tell you, you know, the documentation is there. You can look it up. It's fact. Well, why don't you study? And that's why I call you a homophobe. I want to hear from you homophobes explaining the verse. I know you can read and copy and paste a verse into a comment. What I don't know is if you understand that verse where the Greek words came from or Hebrew roots came from. If you don't know Jesus' terms, say, Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. Come into my life. See you next time.